on this ball. Let's get a high deep ball. They don't go back. Boom, wait. Wait for the ball to drop a little bit high. And you hit the ball down. Waiting for the ball, get in my hitting zone. Back up. Toss is, for instance, highish on your normal serve. If your rhythm is gone, you gotta go lower okay. on the ball toss. Like, remember, it's temporary. A lot lower. If you go lower on the toss, it's a lot easier to keep it in, nice and easy, just on that easy pace. Remember, you're trying to get into the point. You're trying to get your serve in, get your ball toss lower until your confidence is back. And so, if you're trying to Blast the ball, I don't know how I got that in, and you're missing all of them. Start going, take pace off, like this. Easy. Use a serve that you can get in 8, 9 out of 10 times. If you're worried that the opponent might kill it, ask yourself what's better. Him hitting winners or you missing all your serves? At least you're making him play, and I promise you he won't hit winners in all of them. First tip is take pace off immediately. I follow through like this. That ball has to go down, okay? It has to go down if I finish it too low. Now, instead of me just saying follow through higher, follow through bigger, I want to give you a different way to think of it, okay? Because you, I mean, you watch a lot of pros and you see that when they're done with the shot, the racket is low. But what we don't see is because it happens so quick is there's a stage where the racket goes forward through the ball before they release. So you're going to cut the net out of the game a lot more instead of just hitting and flicking all right contact the ball and then try and hit one two three balls before you release so i'm not saying finish there all the time but just make sure your follow through does carry the ball before you release okay so this is me not carrying now i'm not just focusing on finishing high i just want to hit two balls and then release all right two three balls then release and i can are straight Trust me, you can hit a lot of balls in the net, so make sure, before I move on to the tip, I really want to give you, make sure your legs are activated, and you can hit a lot less balls in the net. So instead of being scared and the ball flies, why not swing a racket at fast, okay? Faster you swing it, look at my racket at speed, it really allows the ball to come back down a bit quicker. Let's move. Make sure your racket drops below the ball before you start hitting. Okay, it's very, very difficult to hit the ball flat if you're below the ball because naturally from here you're going to want to hit up and over and that's going to make the ball brush down. Okay, so first step is instead of going straight through the ball, get the feeling of dropping below the ball and then through. Below the ball, then through. Notice how immediately there's a different shape on the ball. Sometimes it actually goes higher over the net, but you end up missing a lot less long. Whoa. Whoa. Again, this is enough. Just like Coach Jerry said, this is enough. Look at my chest. But if you have to do this with single hand, you'll have absolutely no power and you'll be stuck and that's when players start slapping at the ball. Watch Federer. Watch all the, uh, the big single hands. Stan Mavrenka. Who else is there, guys? Dimitrov. Dominic Team. Yeah. Dimitrov. Shapovalov. Man, that turn is up. They got a cocked up wrist. Sounds funny, but it is cocked up. And they got a massive turn. Massive turn, boom. Back almost facing to the net and then they accelerate. So I'll give you just three. Check what happens if I don't turn. It just, it's uncomfortable. And it doesn't look right, okay? Looks like a club play wrist. Bam! Now you can rip it. That ball's much heavier. Bam! Now you can rip it. Notice how it's also coming down. I prefer the platform serve where you don't bring in the back foot. 
and you just serve. You know, it just works for me. I prefer it. Djokovic, Nadal, and uh, not Nadal, uh, Federer does it. But then I saw my player, listen, something is missing. Okay, he's a tall player, missing in the net all the time. And I said, listen, let's try this out. Bring in your foot, let's see what happens. Okay, all of a sudden, when his foot came in, he had a much better load, he had much better upwards momentum, and he stopped missing in the net. But just notice how the load is better. Boom, goes over the net. There, load. Jeez, maybe I should also change to that. But what I'm trying to say is if you're serving, you're a tall guy, you're noticing, you're missing in the net. Consider the secret, bring in your back foot. Notice how the ball starts going up more. Notice how you get a better hip forward, you get a better trophy.